grew up on a farm with watching my grandfather and father and actually a lot of the technique we use goes back to some of those techniques that they use that probably had gone down through centuries of, of development this some of the concepts and I'm not sure they knew exactly why they were doing some things but I, I got inducted into the South Dakota Hall of Fame in 2007. Basically that's what I said is I you know I'm getting inducted in the Hall of Fame for rediscovering things my grandfather and father did. Yeah. And, and, and bringing them back in and, and putting the twist on that we're going to do this now in a modern context with not doing tillage. And the only thing we ever did is we just took old, old e ecological principles of crop rotation and, and, and predators and prey. And we, we haven't used an insecticide on the farm here in, in, in about 10 years. Yeah. You know, and if we screw it up, then yeah, we have to come in and take a big bat and hit the reset button maybe. But we haven't had to do that now in, in quite a while. And, and you know, the way we do the insect thing is is we're very, very cautious about um, using insecticide because we learned early on as soon as we pull that trigger on the insecticide, then we we kill the predators. Uh, our entomology friends tell us we have about two billion predators per acre. <laughs> okay. <laughs> With a bee. And some of them are ants and, and then, you know, one of the, the you know, one of the main causes of death of things like aphids is fungi. Right. So if you have a very active fungi population there, I mean they just they they give the heebie-jeebies to the aphids when they come in. Yeah. And there's, and there's really good evidence of that. I mean, there's good numbers, good real science that people have proven that. I mean, we, we guessed that yeah. at one time based on, on principles.